This is a short video describing how to install the Monier Williams English Sanskrit Dictionary into an offline version. On the screen is shown the uh, Cologne website homepage and I'm going to click on the link for the English Sanskrit Dictionary. I'll do the, the uh, downloads and now from this downloads I'll get the zip file of item number six. I'll pause now while this is downloading. So now the file is downloaded. I actually have two copies of it since I was doing some the same thing a, a moment ago. Uh, I'll go to the one I did a moment ago so it doesn't have that parenthesis one and I'll open uh, I'll show that in the folder and uh, unzip it with um, extract all since that's the most common way to unzip And now you see there's a file called Web1 that's in the MWE Web1 directory. And I'm going to rename that <clears throat> to MWE Web1. And I'll just keep that sitting around, close the downloads folder. <clears throat> Now the second step regards how to get a server on your Windows computer. Server2Go is a very nice uh, product and so that's the one I'm going to describe. I'll go to the download section and the one you want to download is this first item and download the zip. Uh, so if you if I click this, I'd get another download starting, but I've just done that and have one sitting there. So I'm going to uh, show it in the folder and uh, extract it by extract all. And since that's going to take a moment, I'll pause while it's doing, pause the video while it's. So now the download was, com the extraction was completed, and there's now a server to go folder here. The next step I'm going to do is to move that folder to the C drive. So I'm just going to move the folder over here. I don't want it to go in another folder. just want to move it. And then I'll close the download folder. Don't need it anymore. And close this downloads folder. So now for the moment I don't need the browser anymore and I'm opening the server to go folder and let me open the, the next thing to do it might be to drag this MWE web one folder over to the HD docs folder that's one step so don't need that window anymore. Now we're going to have to replace this PMS config with a slight variant for it to work the way we want. So in this I'm going to open a new window here and open HT Docs, open in WE Web 1 <clears throat> and there's a, also a folder called server to go there which has got a slightly different version of this initialization file. So in our C server to go folder I'm going to rename 
the config file to underscore ORIG, just something different. And then I'm going to copy. So I, I'm doing a copy in of our specialized one, and I'm going to go into the server to go folder and do a paste, which just moves it over there. And don't need that anymore. It's simple as to pin this to the start menu. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this. So now when I go over here, I see I've got a server to go. In the start menu, uh, I'll just minimize this, this and go to the start folder and uh, start up server to go. It'll ask you a security question. And you'll see in your taskbar, which isn't shown at the bottom of this video, a server to go icon started up. And a browser using your default browser is started up with server to go. So that's great. We're almost there. Now, remember we called our folder in htdocs I believe I call it MWE Web 1, so I'm just going to add that to the ad URL address and, pr and press return. And voila, there it is. We now have the dictionary at our disposal. I'll use the basic display and look up dog. And there's dog. And if I want to go back to the. Um, this I can. I could um, bookmark this page to make it easier to remember later on. So it's now in the... Well, I don't know whether I did the right thing or not. This is not my usual browser. But anyway, when you've got all that done, it doesn't show on my video, but down in the taskbar, there's a little orange server to go icon. And if I right click that, it has an option called close server to go. And I'm going to press that now. And you'll see it, there's a little progress bar showing server to go. And it closes that browser window. And so you're ready to go anytime you want to use the uh, application. You run server to go, start up server to go again. I'm just repeating what I did once before. And it'll, after a moment, open up a browser. Let's see if, if I've got uh, bookmarks. Where are my bookmarks? Show your bookmarks. That's what we want. Uh, bookmarks toolbar. Recently bookmarked. Hmm. I must not have added it properly. But anyway, it's uh, you add MWE Web 1. And, and you're ready to go. So that's the end of the little installation tutorial. I hope it helps you out in installing this. You can install other dictionaries in a similar manner. You don't have to do the installation of server to go for the other dictionaries if you've already done it this one time. So thanks for listening. That's the end of this tutorial.